Hi, this is Jeff Lichty with Calgary Ashtanga Yoga School and Do Yoga With Me. I'm here with David Caldwell today and we're going to do the half primary series of Ashtanga Yoga. It's a little bit intense at times and it's going to be a great practice, but if you're new to this practice, we've got a few other videos you might want to review first before you come to it. Also, we're doing a chant. It's the traditional chant that's done in Ashtanga. And we're going to do that today just to honor the gurus that have come before us, the teachers that have come before us. So I welcome you to this class and we're going to work hard and it's going to be great. And we'll see you on the other side. Samustitihi. Om. Vande Gurunam Charanaravinde. Sandarshita Svatma Sukhava Bode Sandarshita Svatma Sukhava Bode Nishreya Se Jangali Kayamane Nishreya Se Jangali Kayamane Samsara Hala Hala Mohashantye Samsara Hala Hala Mohashantye Abahu Purushakaram Abahu Shan Kachakrasi Darinam Shan Kachakrasi Darinam Sahasra Shirsam Shvetam Sahasra Shirsam Shvetam Pranamami Patanjalim Pranamami Patanjalim Om Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, the hands come up, palms together, look to your thumb tips. Exhale, fold forward, reach for the floor. Inhale, your head up and look up, flatten your spine. Exhale, jump it back to the push up and lower down slowly, halfway. Inhale to the up dog, dropping the hips, rolling your shoulders back. And then exhale to the downward dog and breathe for five breaths. If you need some variations for the down dog, then what we want you to do is just back up to some of the previous videos that we've done to check them out. We want to have the hips lifted. We want to have full long line of energy up the spine. And eventually the heels will come to the ground. We wait here for five breaths. We'll call that three, four, and five. And on the next inhale, you're going to walk or lightly hop the feet up in between the hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look up. Exhale, round the head to the knees. Inhale, sweep your arms up, palms together. Look to the tips of the thumbs and exhale hands to the side. Again, inhale, hands up. We leap the breath smooth and strong. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, we lengthen the spine and look up. Exhale, walk or lightly hop back to the push-up, lower down slowly, looking forward. Inhale for the up dog. Look to the nose tip. Exhale to the downward dog. Lift the hips up and breathe. Try your best to hollow the area in the lower pubic bone region. Lengthen the spine and eventually the gaze is to the navel. If that's not possible for you today, don't flex the neck so hard that it feels uncomfortable. And we'll call that three breaths. Four. Keep the breath smooth and strong and five, and then we lightly hop or step the feet up, lengthen the spine, look up, exhale, round your head to the knees. Inhale, sweep your arms up, the palms come together, stretch the fingertips tall. Exhale, hands to the side, samastitihi. Again, inhale, the hands up, look to the thumb tips. Exhale, fold forward, reach for the floor. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look up. Exhale, lightly jump or step it back and lower slowly. Hold that bottom, try to keep the chest off the ground if possible. 
Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. And breathe. Find the breath here. Eventually the heels are going to come to the ground. We're going to feel strong line of energy up the legs. You're going to soften your gaze towards your navel without flexing the neck so hard that it feels constricted. And breathe there. Two. Three. Four. Try to let the shoulders roll out slightly. And five. And then lightly hop or step the feet up. Lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, head to the knees. And then inhale smoothly. Hands up, look to the thumb tip and samastitihi. And again, inhale. Reach tall, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, jump or step it back and lower. Inhale for the up dog, shoulders back. Exhale for the downward dog and breathe. Again, five nice long breaths. One, shoulders are broad, there's power down through the index finger and the thumb bases. Two. Three. Four. And five. Lightly step or hop the feet up. Lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, head to the knee. Inhale, sweep your arms up, stretch tall through the fingertips, shoulders can soften down, and exhale, samastitihi. Great. Last one we'll do in Sanskrit. Ekam, inhale. Dwe, exhale. Trini, inhale the head up, hollow the lower belly. Chatwari, jump back. Pancha, inhale to the up dog. Shut, exhale, downward dog. And breathe there. One, two, hollowing the lower belly. Three, sometimes if you bend the knees and lift the sit bones, just bend the knees, yeah, you can lengthen the spine. Four, and five. Sapta, jump or step the feet up. Ashto, exhale, head to the knees. Nava, inhale, the hands come up, palms together, look to your thumbs, and samastitihi. Great. Second sun salutation. Inhale, the hands come up, bend the knees deeply. Exhale, fold forward, reach for the floor. Inhale, the head up and look up. Exhale, jump or step it back and lower down slowly. Inhale for the up dog, the shoulders roll back. Exhale for the down dog. Pivot on the left foot, step forward with the right and inhale, the hands come up, stretch tall through the fingertips. Exhale, work your way right back down, step it back and lower slowly. Inhale for the up dog, shoulders back, legs strong. Exhale for the down dog. Right foot pivots, left foot steps forward, inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, hands right back down. Step it back, look forward as you lower, push back through the heels. And inhale, upward dog. Exhale to the downward dog, and again, take your five breaths there. One, we keep engaged in the legs so that that samastitihi position strong. Two, shoulders are rolling out, but the hands rolling in. Three, Four, and five. Lightly hop or step the feet up. Lengthen your spine, look up. Exhale, head to the knees. Now bend the knees deeply, strong to the heels. Inhale, the hands come up. Look to the thumb tips, and exhale. Stand tall, good. And again, inhale, hands up. 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, the head up, look up. Exhale, jump or step, lower down slowly. Inhale for the up dog, shoulders back, strong legs. Exhale for the downward dog. Pivot on the left, step forward with the right. Inhale, hands up, palms together. Exhale, step it back, lower down slowly, elbows in. Inhale for the up dog, shoulders back. Exhale for the downward dog. Pivot on that right, step forward with the left. Inhale, hands up. And exhale, right back down, step it back, lower down slowly. Inhale, up dog, shoulders back. Exhale, downward dog, lift the hips up and breathe. Five nice long breaths. That's one. Two. Three. Remember, if you're having problems keeping up with the Siri Namaskar, just drop back to a different video. Four, where we explain it in a little more detail. And five. Walk or lightly hop the feet up. Lengthen your spine. Look up. Exhale, head to the knees. Bend the knees. Inhale, the hands come up. Palms together. Look to your thumbs. And exhale, stand tall. Last one, we'll do it in Sanskrit. Ekam, inhale. Dwe, exhale. Trini, inhale, head up. Chatwari, jump back. Pancha, inhale. Shat, exhale. Sapta, right foot steps forward. Inhale, hands up. Ashto, exhale. Lower down slowly. Nava, inhale. Dasha, exhale. Ikadasha, inhale, left foot. Hands come up. Dwadasha, exhale. Step it back, lower slowly. Triodasha, inhale. Chaturdasha, exhale, and breathe there. Good. Again, feet are hip width apart. Hands shoulder width apart, slightly forward. The fingers, the index fingers facing forward or the V in between the index finger and the middle finger. And you work with your breath strongly and smoothly. Inhale, the same length as the exhale. In and out through the nose keeping the breath with sound so that there's a place to bring your mind to when the mind starts to wander. Let's take one more breath here and then back, panchadasha, inhale, jump it up. Sodasha, exhale. Saptadasha, bend the knees, inhale, hands up. And samastitihi, stand tall, very good. Padangustasana, First forward bend. Reach down, grab your big toes with your first two fingers. Inhale, lengthen your spine and look up. Now be strong in your legs here and lifted in your core. Exhale, round your head towards the knees and breathe here. Again, kneecaps can lift and you soften and broaden the shoulders. Two, taking five breaths. Three, Four, and five. From here, the inhale lengthens the spine up. Press down through the feet, and then pada hastasana, take the hands underneath the feet. Again, you're gonna inhale and lengthen. Hollow the lower abdomen. Exhale, fold forward, head towards the knee. Breathe there, one, two, Strong legs, kneecaps lift. Three, you can press a little bit more weight into the front of the foot and down onto the hands. Four. And five. Again, the inhale draws length up into the spine. Exhale there. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. And then close your feet, samastitihi. Remember, samastitihi, widen your toes. Press down through the feet in order to lift tall through the crown of the head. Tuck your chin a little. It's like you're going to grow an inch through the crown of the head. 
that will change where you're pushing down from and where you're lifting up from. And we move on, trikonasana, step back with the right foot. You're about one leg length apart, turn the right foot out, the left foot's 90 degrees, really lifted in samastitihi here. Exhale, take the hand down. It can go to the shin or to the big toe eventually. You lift that top arm up above the shoulder and gaze to the tip of the thumb. Breathe there. One. Try to lengthen the lower side of the rib cage. Two. Top hip rotates back and up. Three. Soft gaze. Soften the corner edges of the lips. Four. And five, the inhale draws you up. Be strong in the legs, turn and pivot on the heels. Set it up, exhale, takes you down. And again, keep the legs strong and lifted. Try to extend the chest out of the hips. Lift through the tip of the finger and breathe. Two, three, watch that tendency to get tight in the face See if you can soften, four, and five. The inhale draws you up, strong inhale. Turn and pivot so the hips square off to the back wall. Exhale, reach down with that left hand, up with the right hand, and breathe. Again, there's some modifications in a previous video for some of these, and I'll refer you back to that. That's one. But here we want to lengthen from the shoulder to this back hip. So the back hip moves back and we create length along this axis. Two, strong legs. Three, gaze up to the thumb tip. Four, and five. The inhale draws you up. Turn and pivot. Exhale takes you down. Twist the spine and look up. Fingers are together lifted through the tip of the finger. This hip is moving back, so your left hip moving back from your right shoulder. Two, three, four, very good, five. The inhale draws you up. Exhale, step to samastitihi. Again, root through the feet, lift through the crown of the head. We really want to find this strong position. Parjvottanasana, inhale, open up to the side, turn and pivot, and then exhale, lunge, the hand will come to the ground. As a modification, we can always just reach down to our knee with the elbow. One, and look up to the tip of the thumb. Two, be strong in the feet. You want to press back through this back heel. Four, chest is rotating up towards the ceiling. And the hand is flat towards the ground. Five, the inhale draws you up. Pressing down through that right foot, stand, turn and pivot. And the exhale lunges you into that left leg, extends you into this top hand. We want to create one long line of energy from the tip of the finger right down to the back heel. Two, keep the breath nice and smooth. Chest opens towards the ceiling. Three, four, try to keep the face soft. And five, the inhale draws you up. Turn and pivot. You're going to square your hips as best you can and then lunge into that right leg, cross the shoulder deeply across the leg, drop to the back knee if necessary, and breathe. The gaze is strong here. Remember, a modification for this could be to drop to the back knee and just turn and twist and find a nice deep lunge. Two, when you're in this posture, I want you to really try to press through this back foot. Three. Chest is opening towards the ceiling, four, and five. The inhale draws us up, pressing down to the right leg. Turn and pivot, and reach down. Cross the right shoulder over the knee, and lunge. And again, we can just take a nice wide stance. We could take hands into prayer as a modification. Two. 
the breath smooth. Three. Strong through the back heel. Four. And five. The inhale draws us up. Exhale, step to the front of the mat, samastitihi. Reestablish that core position, really lift it through your spine. Prasarita padottanasana A, ekam inhale. You're going to step back, hands come to the hips. Really lift it through the crown of the head. Strong samastitihi position with wide legs. Exhale, the hands go to the floor. The heel of the hand in line with the heel of the foot. And then inhale, lengthen your spine. Try to get long through the spine. Exhale, the head down towards the floor. If you don't reach, do not worry. That's not the point, but find your breath. One, strong legs. Two, three, four, And five, the inhale again, raise the head, lengthen the spine, exhale there. And then inhale, come all the way up, and pause your hands on your hips. B, we inhale, lengthen the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to the hips. Again, inhale, lengthen tall through the crown of the head, and exhale, fold forward, leaving the hands where they are. The elbows eventually are going to gather together, as can the shoulder blades gather together. Two. Again, kneecaps are lifted, legs are strong. Three. Four. And five. The chin lifts, the inhale brings you all the way up. And then exhale, you pause there. For C, we inhale the hands up. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Again, inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, we take the hands over towards the floor. The breath is strong and smooth. Expecting the hands to come to the floor is not necessarily important for all of us. Although it is very aesthetically pleasing. Inhale, keep the breath smooth. Three, strong legs. Four, and five. The inhale draws you all the way up. Exhale, pause your hands. Last one. Inhale, leave your hands where they are, and exhale, reach down and grab the big toes. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look up, and then exhale the head to the floor. Eventually, the head will land in line with the feet. Two. Three, four, breath is smooth and flowing, and five. Inhale, the head comes up, and exhale there. Inhale, come all the way up, and exhale, step to the front of the mat. Parjvottanasana, the last of the fundamentals. Inhale, step and turn, lift tall. We want to try to bring the hands together. Now we've had a couple different hand positions. Exhale, fold forward. If you can't quite grab your hands, leave them down low. That's one. If there's no room for moving up here, that's fine too. Leave them down low. The last option would be to just grab. Three. Four. Strong in the legs. When you come up, I want you to make sure you're rooted strong in the feet. The inhale draws you up. Turn and pivot. Lift tall through the crown of the head. The exhale takes you down. Again, the hand positions. You can use hands just behind the back, eventually inching them up. And just do the work that you can do for today. Breathe. Over time, with consistent practice, this all changes. Three, eventually the palms together. Four, and five. The inhale draws you up. And then exhale, step to the front of the mat. Samastitihi. 
reestablish samastitihi because we're moving into some balance type postures here. So we want to do hand to big toe pose. So you're going to reach down with that right foot or reach down to the right big toe. Inhale, lengthen up, and then exhale the full posture bow. If this isn't possible today, you can grab your knee and just stand. Two, three, keep the breath nice and smooth, four, and five. Then we inhale, stand a little taller, and then we exhale, you can move the leg over, one, and eventually gaze over the opposite shoulder, two, three, very good, four, and five. The inhale draws the leg back in. Exhale, you can bow to the leg. Inhale, you can straighten the leg out. One, two, lift through the crown of the head. Three, four, and five. Exhale, let the leg come down. Great. And the second side, again, take a second. You can take a second and establish your core, but then reach down, grab that left big toe. Inhale and exhale, fold. Get the breath nice and smooth. As a modification on this one, you can also just grab the big toe. Two, standing taller and taller. Three, or you can take the full posture with the head touching the knee. Four, and five. Then inhale, stand a little taller. Exhale, open the leg up to the side. Lift the heart nicely. Look over the opposite shoulder. One. Soften the shoulders down the back. Two. Three. Keep the breath nice and smooth. Four. And five. The inhale draws the leg back into the center. Exhale, bow to the leg. Inhale, stand tall, point your toe, and breathe. One, shoulders roll back, lift through the crown of the head. Two, three, four. If it's too much, just grab a hold. And five, exhale, the leg comes down. Very good. Come to Samastitihi. Just stay here for a second, and let's reestablish this. Root through the feet. So you want to spread the toes, press down, lift up to the crown of the head. Now, we take Ardha Baddha Padmottanasana. It's the first half lotus. Deva will do the full posture. You reach around. The heel comes up to the midline. Grab the foot behind your back, and then go ahead and fold in. Exhale, fold forward. As an alternative, I want you to just think about working with your balance. Bring the heel up towards the knee, flex your foot back, and then sit back in a chair a little bit so you feel a good stretch in the right hip. Maybe the hands will come here and there's a little downward pressure in order to get that bend in the knee. But find your breath, two. Just joking, that's gotta be four or five. Inhale your head up, look up, exhale. Then inhale, stand up and exhale, release the foot. Again, just pause for a second. It's fine, Samastitihi. Now, slowly you're gonna work that right foot, or left foot up, heel towards the midline, knee down, and then wrap and grab. The exhale takes you down. If this isn't possible for you, you can stand tall, but I don't want you to hurt the knee in any way in this practice. If there's pain here, you immediately come out. Another option is to be here. Knee, foot flexed, buttock sticks out a little, chest full, and breathe. A couple more breaths there, Deva, good. And then the inhale draws the head up. Exhale there. Inhale, stand all the way up. And exhale, pause in samastitihi. Whew, through that one, we're good. All right, Utkatasana, inhale, your hands come up. We cycle through a Siri Namaskara. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, the head up, look up. Exhale, jump or step it back, lower down. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. 
and we jump or step the feet into Ukatasana position. Bend your knees and inhale the hands up. Now, if your shoulders are locked, you can find different hand positions, but try to bend into the knees, pressing them down, heels working towards the floor, and breathe. Two, the shoulders can be as soft as you can make them. The gaze is up towards the fingertips. Three, good. Four, and five. The exhale takes the hands down to the floor. Inhale, try to lift it up a little bit. And then exhale, jump or step back to the push up and lower down. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. Now we work into the warrior position. Right foot steps forward in between the hands. Bend the knees, inhale the hands, come up. Look to the tip of the thumb. Eventually we want the knee to be coming above the ankle. The quad eventually parallel to the ground. Two. Shoulders can soften. Three. Four. Slide your foot back a little. Yep. And five. Lunge a little more. And then inhale, lengthen up, turn and pivot. And we do the ex opposite side, exhale. Again, we look to bring the knee in line with the foot this way. We have the hip dropping, and the knee is above the ankle or midfoot, but not further than that. Three, four, and five. Inhale, we open to warrior B looking over the left hand, watching that the knee doesn't drift outwards, being lifted through the crown of the head and as soft as you can through the shoulders. Two, watch the breath, make it nice and smooth. Three, four, and five. We inhale, straighten up, turn and pivot. Exhale, lunge into that leg again. Eventually, the quad becomes parallel, lunge there. Oh, yes, that's the word. Two, three, very good. Four, and five. You take the hands down to the ground, step it back to the push-up, lower down slowly. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. And then we're working for the first time through a jump through. So you're gonna look in between your hands and you can jump right through as Dave will show. Stretching the legs out straight, lift the crown of the head and look to the toes. There's no problem if you just walk through as well. Walk it up, under control, sit down and extend your legs out. We'll call that two. Three, the legs are straight and strong. The spine is lifted. Shoulders softened. We'll call that five. Reach down, grab your big toes with the first two fingers. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, and exhale, fold down. Eventually, the full drishti is to the toes, but for now, you can look at your nose tip, let your head hang. Two, three, shoulders will be soft. Four, and five. The inhale lengthens you up, and then exhale, we're gonna reach down and grab a deeper position, the wrist underneath the ankles, and exhale, fold. Now remember, at any time, you don't have to try to get these positions. This can be the first position, this can be the second position, but the most important thing is to continue to have that nice flowing breath. Three. Four, and five. The inhale lifts the head up, and then exhale. Inhale, sit up, and just pause for a second, Deva. We're going to figure out this jump back. So we want to pull the knees up nice and tight, flex the feet, cross the legs, and press down. Can you show us? And we lift up. Yep. And then we slowly work our way back. Do the push up and lower. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. 
And then work your way right back through. Stretch out the legs straight. Bring the hands back about a foot. And we inhale, lift the hips up. Pushing down through the soles of the feet. Lifting the heart nice and high. Two. Gaze here is to the nose tip. Three. Four. And five. The hips come down. Cross the legs. Plant your palms. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, jump or step it back and lower. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the down dog. And then we come right back through. Sit down, stretch the legs out. And we take Ardha Baddha Padmottanasana. It's called uh, half lotus sitting. And you're going to reach around and you're going to grab that foot. Left hand comes down to the toe and exhale, fold. Now, what are some options? Breathe there nicely. First, you can just cross the foot or the ankle on the knee and lift tall. Then you might feel it in the hip. Otherwise, you can lift the knee up, flex the foot back, turn your hands, and then just lift the heart. Again, what we're trying to do is find pressure in that right hip. And we keep the breath nice and smooth. Alternatively, you okay? One more second there. Alternatively, we could lie right back, reach through, and find a nice figure four position. But that would be the last alternative. Let's move on. Inhale the head up, exhale. Inhale, you're going to lift it up. Exhale, jump it back. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the down dog. The inhale draws you right back through. And we're going to take the left side. So the left foot comes up, heel comes in line, wrap it and grab. And then reach down with the right hand, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold into the posture. Again, variations. You can take that left heel over the knee. Maybe that's enough. No knee pain. We don't want knee pain. Lift the knees up. Inhale, lift. Again, no knee pain. And settle here. Sorry, Deva, we'll go on here. Find your breath. And then we start the vinyasa. Inhale the head up. Cross your legs, plant your palms, pull the knees in. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, vinyasa back. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the down dog. Tiriyeng Mukhe Kapata Jump through and sit down. The right foot trails behind with the heel just outside the hip. Reach down and around, grab that front foot, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold, head towards the knee. Soften your shoulders and work with your breath. Don't press or pull too hard. And if you can't make that deep bend, that's not a problem. Take the foot back. If there's too much pressure on the ankle, or the hip roll off to the side, it's fine. Or you can roll a towel and put it under the ankle here. Or you can get a block and lift up onto the block. Either way, we're not staying here too long. And don't hurt the knees, but just find your breath. And then we inhale the head up. Exhale. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, jump it back, lower slowly. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. Inhale, jump it through, and we do the other side. Left foot bends back. Again, we don't want to have pain in the knee. Exhale will take you down into the full posture. Again, some variations. You can just let your body rock off to the side so there's less pressure on the knee, less pressure on the ankle. Lift tall through your spine and breathe. You can roll into it, you can take a dowel or a towel underneath, or you can set a block underneath your hip. We're not staying too long, so we inhale the head up, look up, and exhale there. Inhale, lift up, 
Exhale, jumper step it back and lower slowly. Inhale to the upward dog. Exhale to the downward dog. Janu Shashasana A, you inhale, come through. Now, we bring the right foot and we bend it. We bring the heel right to the midline, to the perineum. And we bring this knee out 90 degrees. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. You'll feel a stretch along this side of the body. And the breath is nice and smooth. Two. Three. Four. And five. The inhale draws you up. Exhale there. Inhale, you're going to lift it up. Exhale, jump it back. Lower slowly. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. Inhale, you jump or step right through. Stretch the legs out and Second side, knee comes out 90 degrees, reach down and around. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. One. Two. Three. Keep the breath smooth. Four. And five. The inhale draws the head up, exhale. Inhale, you're going to lift it up. Exhale, jump it back and lower slowly. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. The B position, jump through and sit down. We take the same position as A, and then we lift up and we sit down on the heel. Now, if this causes pain in the knee, move back to the first position. If not, then you can continue along. It doesn't always feel comfortable, and that's fine. And then exhale, fold forward, and breathe. The breath is nice and smooth. The heel position, the foot stays straight down the leg, and eventually you sit right on the heel in this manner. Breath is smooth. Now, if you're starting to run out of steam, you inhale your head up. Vinyasa. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, jump it back and cycle through, please. If you're tired, you're just going to sit and breathe, and we'll just do a nice switch of the legs without that jump back in the middle. Then we go to the second side, lift up, work your way forward, and exhale, fold to the full posture. Breathe there for five breaths. One. Now, again, I don't want you to have pain in the knee, so you can bring the foot out a little, release it at the first A position, or you can straighten the leg out a little more, and then just find a, seated, a nice sitting, lifted spot and breathe. From here, inhale, the head comes up, look up. Exhale there. Inhale, then you're going to lift it up. Exhale, jump or step it back and lower down slowly. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. Janu Shirshasana C, Sapta jump through, stretch the legs out, and you're going to pull the right foot up. Eventually, we turn, go ahead, you can take the posture. You take the foot right up, we turn it down, the heel comes directly up. And we exhale down onto the full foot. Breath is smooth. Now, this is a pretty difficult posture at the beginning. There's lots of pressure on the toes. You can do two things. You can just sit here, reaching the hand underneath and through, pull the toes back, lift tall through your spine and breathe. And that can be enough. You can try to angle the toes down a little. Maybe you'll angle the toes here without folding forward. But anything that you do to work into the crease of the toes, we're not holding it long, so it's not going to do damage. Just don't break your toes. And then from here, inhale the head up, exhale. You're going to cross your legs, plant your palms. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, jump it back to the push-up, lower down. Inhale to the up dog. 
Exhale to the down dog. Jump it right back through, sit down, and we'll take the second side. Dave will show the full posture, toes are in, heel is up. And then she folds down with her belly over the heel. And the exhale takes her head down and in. An option for us is to reach through, pull the toes back, and just find a nice stretch in the toes. Try not to collapse the chest. See if you can sit tall and do the work of lifting out of the spine. Couple more breaths there, Deva. Eventually you can angle the foot to the floor. Maybe try to get those down and we're good to go. Inhale the head up, exhale. Inhale, lift it up and exhale, jump it back. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. Marichyasana A, so we jump through again. This time we pull the right foot back and we plant it on the ground. We're gonna plant it firmly. The heel are, is coming up towards the buttocks and the outside bone on the ankle in line with the hip. Reach down around with the right hand, wrap and grab, and then exhale, fold forward. Now this posture is not possible for everyone, that's fine. You can sit tall, pull the leg up, and you can just lean forward into it. You can reach forward with this right arm, plant it on the ground and breathe. Couple more breaths there, we'll call that three. Eventually you can start to work the hand back and around. Four, and five. And so what we do, inhale the head up, exhale, cross your legs, pull those knees in tight, flex your feet. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, jump or step it back, lower down. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. Inhale, jump or step through. And we'll do the second side. The left foot pulls in. Again, this little bump on the ankle is in line with the hip. Reach down around with that left hand. Eventually you can grab the wrist behind the back and exhale, fold forward. Again, some modifications. You're here on the ground, left foot's pulled in, and we just reach forward nicely with that left hand. You can be planted with that right hand. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, just deepen slightly. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen slightly. On your next inhale, lift the head up, look up and exhale there. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, jump it back, lower slowly. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. Reach asana B, jump through. And here we encounter the lotus posture again. The left foot comes into lotus. The right foot plants on the ground, just like A. Wrap the right arm around the knee, grab a hold behind, and exhale, fold forward. Now, I don't want you to hurt your knees in this practice. So, an option is to pull the foot in two towards the core, plant that right foot on the ground, and do the same thing we just did. Reach around, start to wrap the arm, and maybe you'll get that bind eventually over time, or maybe you'll just use a little assistance with the back hand to push forward. No pressure, no pain in the knees. Inhale, the head comes up. Exhale, cross your legs, plant your palms. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, jump it back, lower down. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale, down dog. Second side, so we jump through, same thing. This time the right foot pulls in, the heel straight towards the midline or above the pubic bone. Foot plants on the ground, wrap and grab. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold forward. And here we breathe. Again, we can take this modification of bringing the foot into the inside, lifting the other foot up, reaching the chest high, reaching the left hand forward. Eventually, maybe we start to move it around. Maybe that grab will be possible one day. If not, that's fine. We're just gonna find a little bit of forward movement here. You'll feel it in the hip or maybe the hamstring. Inhale, lift the head up, look up. Exhale there. Inhale, release it and lift up. Exhale, jump it back. 
Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Marichasana C, jump through. Stretch it out. And then you're gonna pull that right foot back and plant it on the ground. Here we turn and we twist and eventually you reach around and grab a hold of the hands. The inhale draws the spine long and the exhale we try to twist and look over into the distance that right shoulder. Again, if this isn't possible at this time, that's not a problem. What I want you to do is sit tall. You can grab your hand on the knee and turn and twist or you can find yourself into a nice tall position with the spine looking over that shoulder. A couple more breaths there, Davis. Sorry it's so long. Keep the breath nice and smooth. See if you can turn this quad inward a little bit. And slowly unwind that. And then inhale, cross your legs, plant your palms, and lift it up. Exhale, jump it back. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the down dog. And then jump through for the second side. And we sit down. Left foot plants on the ground. And we turn and we twist as best we can towards that side. Inhale, lengthen tall. Exhale, turn and look over the opposite side. And here again, some of the modifications. We could plant this foot on the ground. Be strong in this leg. Inhale, tall. Exhale, turn and look. We might deepen it by grabbing here, bringing the chest closer to the leg. We might start to bring the shoulder across and turn and twist, and then eventually reach around and grab. Breath is vital here, and we don't want to sacrifice the breath for the posture. So slowly unwind that. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, jump it back, lower slowly. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. Marichasana D. Marichasana D is what in Ashtanga they often call a gatekeeper posture, one where until we can do this, we don't really progress much further. So go ahead and take it. We take the left foot in. We plant that right foot on the ground. Now we do the big twist here. Turn, wrap the left arm around, reach behind, feed the arm through, and breathe. And if that doesn't look kind of freaky to some of you, don't worry. It is a little bit. Let's find something that'll work. So take your right or your left foot, plant it in. And same thing, you're just going to turn and twist towards that upright knee. The gaze eventually goes past that left or the right shoulder and looks off into the distance. A couple more breaths there. And then slowly unwind it. I don't want you to press into the lotus posture. I don't want you to break your knees to get into this posture. I want you to breathe. The lower down, inhale to the up dog, exhale to the downward dog. And then we jump it right back through and we do the second side. Right foot comes in, wrap it, plant it, grab it, enjoy it. Pretend you're having fun. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it and then we'll find some modifications that'll work. Inhale, lengthen it up. Now, we lift the heart, we plant the foot, we're turning, we're finding a nice twist. Shoulder blades drop down, gaze is over that left shoulder off into the distance. Breath is as smooth as it can be when you're tied in a little knot. And then exhale, just unwind it. We'll let it go there at that today. Inhale, we'll lift you up. Exhale, we'll jump you back. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. And Navasana, the boat posture. Jump through. The feet come up so that your gaze is around toe level. The hands are shoulder width apart and shoulder height. Breath is smooth and we do five of these. We'll call that three. Make Dave work very hard today. Cross your legs, plant your palms, that's enough. Inhale, lift up, exhale down, same thing again. Call that one. Now, some options. Some of the options here are to just 
take the hands underneath the knees, lift the chest high, and breathe here. We want to feel a deep, strong connection in the lower core. Inhale, lift it up. Great work. Exhale, come down. And again. So again, toes or eye height, hands or shoulder height. Another option would be to grab the knees, rock the shoulders back, and then start to lift onto the tips of the toes. Four and five. Cross. When you lift, try not to touch the feet. Exhale, come back down. And inhale, we go into it again. This time, another option would be roll the shoulders back, keep the knees bent, and start to straighten using the power of the hands to help with the legs. Shoulders are back, spine is lifted. One more breath there, and let's just make this the last one. Inhale, we lift up, exhale down, and we go again. So options, just sitting tall. Don't hurt the lower back or the knees. Hands underneath, knees lifted, knees lifted. Legs straightened using the assist from the hands. Eventually, we work into the full posture. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, jump it back. And lower slowly. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. And then we jump through. Lay down flat on our back and get ready for some back bends. This would conclude our half primary series. And so, Take a second and just lie down flat on your back. Get yourself ready, and then we prepare for the back bends by bending the knees up, planting the feet firmly on the ground. Your heels are gonna be a little bit wider than your hips. Feet parallel to the ground. Put a little arch in your back. Pull the shoulder blades together a little. And today we'll start with a little bridge. Using the power through the feet, you're going to inhale, start to lift very slowly, keeping the arch in your back. Interlace your fingers behind your back, feeling the full power transmit through the feet. And we breathe here for five breaths. Remember our samastitihi, we want power underneath the big toe mound, the little toe mound, and underneath the heels. And then we exhale, bring the hips back down, keeping the arch in the back, tailbone touches. And then we go again. Inhale, we lift. The knees work together. You're pushing down power through the full surface of the foot, maybe a little more on the inside aspect of the foot, lifting up into the upper back. A couple more breaths there. And exhale, slowly we come down. And one more, we inhale, come up, interlace, pull the shoulders together, knees together, and breathe, five nice long breaths, three, four, and five, exhale, slowly lower down, let the hips touch down. Good, just take a little breather here for a second. Really reestablish the power through the feet. You want to find that very strong pressure underneath the big toe mound, underneath the little toe mound, underneath both heels. And then we're going to prepare this time in the same way. You can lift up into um, a little bridge to start and then take your hands up, or you can take your hands right up. Take them right up, David, that's fine. And then we inhale and lift to the crown of the head and pause there. From here, get the feet settled and strong and inhale, lift up and breathe. Again, check in with the feet. We want strength on the inside part of the foot. Breathe there. If this is too much for you today, that's no problem. Go back to the little bridge that we did earlier. And then exhale, slowly you come down. Inhale, lift up again. Exhale, pause there. Breathe, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, come down to the head. Inhale, lift it up. Press down through the feet. Make sure the inside part of the foot's really activated, very strong. Knees are gathering in a little. Two. 
Gazes to your nose tip. Three, four, and five. And slowly you're going to lower yourself down. We won't do Chakrasana today. We're just going to pull the knees gently up into the chest just to release the back a little bit. And then you can rock forwards and backwards and then just sit right up. Stretch your legs out straight. We'll miss, skip a vinyasa here. Reach down around that front feet. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, round. We'll take 10 breaths here. So when we arch the back into a deep extension, we reverse it with a deep reflection. So take 10 breaths here. Two, three, four, Soften the shoulders, five. Still be strong and engaged in the legs, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Inhale the head up and look up. Exhale there. Now we're gonna do a vinyasa, so we're gonna cross the legs, plant your palms, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, jump it back, lower slowly. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. And then you're going to jump right back through and lay down flat. From here, we're starting in the shoulder stance. So you can inhale straight up, Deva, whenever you're ready and take it. The feet come and they stack directly above the shoulders. If this is too much in your neck, what we want to do is we want to modify it by doing what we call Vipariti Karani, which is a half shoulder stand. So Vipariti Karani, half shoulder stand, is just lifting the hips up, gathering them in, but letting them sit back very far into the hands, feet at about a 45 degree. You can see that I have no pressure on my neck there. I pull my shoulder blades together and I still get the same benefit for the most part. If this is too difficult to hold, you can lie flat with your legs up the wall. And we take 10 breaths here and just breathe. All of Ashtanga is done basically in the Mysore room. And so eventually we want to get ourselves in front of a good teacher so that they can help assist. So we're in Sarva Angasana and we move ourselves to Halasana and exhale down. Feet reach towards the floor. If they don't reach well, then don't worry about touching them. Don't insist on it. And we take eight breaths here. The tops of the feet are on the floor. The hips are lifted and the hands are extended behind, interlaced. Breath is smooth and full. The gaze is towards the navel off the tip of the nose. Breath is smooth. And we'll call that six, seven, and eight. Karna Pidasana, we bend the knees and we reach the knees down around the head, heels together. Eight more breaths here, one. Again, don't insist on the knees being pressed down to the floor. Don't insist on the heels being together, although ideally at the end of practice, we'll get closer and closer to this as we progress. Four, smooth, flowing breath. Five, six, seven, and eight. Urdhva Padmasana, it's upside down lotus. So you take lotus first with the right foot, then the left. The palms plant on the, underneath the knees, the arms straighten and the knees press down into the palms and the hips lift up and we breathe here. Eight nice long breaths. Now as a modification, I'll leave you there, Deva, for a second. The modification would be just to lift up 
Get your hips into your hands. Cross your legs and breathe. Again, we don't need to have a lot of pressure on the neck. And we'll take our eight smooth, full breaths here. Let's call that six. Seven. And eight. And Pindasana, we lower down, we wrap around and grab. Eight breaths here. One, two, if it's too much on your neck, just roll out gently onto your back and hold your knees up to your chest. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Matsyasana, or the fish posture, Hands go to the ground and we're going to roll down the spine very slowly, rolling down the spine until we set the hips on the ground. The lotus knees drop down, you lift up through your chest, head goes back so that the hips are on the ground, the head's on the ground. Then if you can, you reach your hands forward, grab your lotus feet, lift the elbows off the ground, and then extend your lotus knee towards the ground. Eight breaths here. A modification would be to have the legs straight, the hips on the ground, the head back, and then breathe, holding the posture here. Gaze is to the nose tip. We'll take a couple more breaths there. And then we'll move to Uttanapadasana, Release the feet with the hands. The hands come up, palms together, 45 degrees. The feet come up 45 degrees and breathe. Eight more nice long breaths. Modifications for this would be to lay flat on the back. Hands up 45 degrees, one foot up perhaps, then the other foot or both, and breathe. Breath is nice and smooth and full. Take one more nice long breath here. And then you can just lower your hands and your feet down, lower yourself down flat on the back, bring your knees up to your chest, and we'll just modify this vinyasa and roll ourselves up to a sitting position. From here, inhale, lift it up, and we'll jump it back. Lower down slowly. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. And then we set up for Shirshasana, the headstand. The arms will be shoulder width apart. The hands about <clears throat> interlace the fingers and turn the palms upward. The back of the head can go into the palms and lightly put some weight on the ground. Then we're going to walk our feet up and we're gonna lift the hips up. Stay there for one second. This is a great starter spot for people. Eventually, over time, you can lift straight up into the headstand and breathe. Point your toes a little further up and breathe there. Some, again, some modifications would look like this. Palms up and open, back of the head into the hands. Press down strongly through your arms. Walk your feet in a little and put a little light pressure on your head. Eventually, maybe you'll bend one knee up, chest, uh, thigh into the chest, heel towards the buttocks, and then switch. Eventually, both of those feet might come up. And breathe like that. Over time, you build strength. Over time, you build confidence. But just start with that downward dog position on your head. And let's get Deva out of this. Halfway down, Deva. Exhale. We hold this for 10 breaths. One, legs are horizontal to the ground, toes pointed. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, come up straight. Exhale, slowly come down and take child's pose. In the Yoga Mala, Guruji talks about taking a couple minutes here just to rest. This is usually after you've done a prolonged headstand, not 15 breaths, but maybe 100. Breath is smooth. So take a little rest here, and then we'll step it back to Chaturanga, the push-up position. Strong in the arms and legs. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the downward dog. Jump it through. Lightly land, sit down, stretch the legs out straight. For Baddha Padmasana, right foot comes into lotus. Left foot follows, comes up. We wrap around with the left hand and grab. We wrap with the right hand and then we fold forward on the exhale and breathe for 10 breaths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Inhale, sit up tall. Stretch the arms out straight for Padmasana. The first finger and the thumb are together at the pads. Last three fingers straight and strong. Look down to a spot in front of your mat or in front of your crossed legs and breathe. One, ten. Nice, strong, full breaths. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, Uttaplutihi, the sprung up posture. Inhale, lift yourself up. Palms are flat on the ground, look forward. One, and then the gaze is to the tip of the nose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Inhale, you lift up. Exhale, jump it back. Inhale to the up dog. Exhale to the down dog. And then jump through and take a well deserved rest. Palms turn up towards the ceiling. Shoulders soften. Breath is smooth and full. A good Shavasana, you're going to want to let the breath rate come back to normal, the heart rate come back to normal, the sweat dry if you have sweat on your body. And the real sign of a, of a good rest is that you feel rested. So one thing we sometimes do with our students is we'll take three very intentional breaths in order to create this relaxation or feel the relaxation in the body. So inhale, nice and big, full, full inhale, inhale and hold the breath. 
and then sigh and release. Oh. Let the body melt into your mat. And again, inhale, big breath into your belly, into your chest in every direction and hold it. And exhale, release. Oh. Last time, inhale, fill the belly, fill the lungs, fill the chest in every way. Get the biggest breath and sip a little more air in and hold it. Be still. And release. And then just let your breath come to normal. Inhale, peace. Exhale, release. Inhale, peace. Exhale, release. Peace. Release. If you want to pull, pause your video at home, you can do that. Take as long a rest as you can afford to do. And when you exit Shavasana, just wiggle your hands and your feet. Take a nice stretch if that works for you. Slowly roll to one side or the other, gently taking your time, getting your bearings. And then, when you're ready, come back up to sitting. Thank you so much for your time, David G. Great. And thank you for playing along with us. This is great. Namaste.